Hi guys, today I'll be doing a tour of this ship. I'll first hold it. Okay, we can start with the front of the ship. You can see I built this ship for a long, long time from, from here to here. But I'll start with the front of the ship right now. So this is the front of the ship and I just made this hook about just today and when I lower it I can pull something back. You can see. It's a tiny boat. But I've tried to use a tiny boat to pull the big ship but the ship is too heavy and too strong that I can't actually push it. Like I'll give you proof. I'll just down the tube. Okay, and when I pull, you see, it's too strong. Look, when you look on my ship, it's too strong that pulls it off. So I'll, I'll start with this ship first because I think I'll start with it this way. This is way cooler. Okay, okay, you can see, this is one of the smaller ships than the size of the big ship. Look at the bottom, I've added a light just today and I made this today. So this is a this is a cabinet and these are the people on board and this is a driver and I actually can't find a steering wheel so I just use my you can see here. Okay, next one. This is the hull of the ship. What I call the bow. So when I take this off, you can you can see I'll be I added about like another layer on here. So when I take this off, it just like just goes like that. So I, if I put it on, it won't go that hard. So. I think I just like putting it like that. And when I get closer to the room, you can see I have the British here. And the captain's inside the ship. I'll just take off this glass so you can see. So, I don't actually know what is this called, but I've seen these in a lot of ships. For example, Titanic. And this is the steering wheel. Okay. Okay, and on to the next one. Okay, and this is the lifeboat deck, which only has four lifeboats, two on each side. You may be wondering why I have this police sign on here. Because I didn't have enough pieces to, I didn't have much pieces to find all the right colors, so I, I just used any sort of color. You can see here matches here and here matches here. I may teach you about how these lifeboats launch, but it will be in the in the next video. Now, if I launch this camera a bit down, you can see the control center and the prison at the back. I'll first show the control center. We're going the other side. Now, when I get closer to the control center, you can see what it looks like. So when I take this prism thingy off, it'll and this. So when I take the camera up, you can see two things that m might appear on the plane, like these two. These. So there's two of them, and this is a wheel, and this is the next wheel. So this is about like a 
thing where you press the button and it fires or something. And these are other the buttons from it. And these are switches. I don't know what they're made for. The next one. Okay. And I think this is the coordinates for the camera. When I take this person off, you, you can see switches like that, but a darker color. And something you, it might appear on a car will look like that. It just looks like how fast it, it's going, the shit. And, I, and this is the same. The other one. And there's buttons everywhere and lights and buttons. And buttons and buttons. when I put the ship's jail back on I'll show you the end of the ship which is better than the front and way cooler okay to the next. I'll start with the flag. Now you can, you might not know all you can see. First I'll start with you can see. So you can see that the flag, I just made it up like this part, which is, I found it on a, when I was building, I found a sort of like a umbrella thingy and this was what it was from, so I used it as the flag. And now the next question you guys may be asked, the other side of the picture. Look, this is how I put it on. So you can see, if I take this flag off, you can see from here that it has a thing like goes down and up. And you come back to the... to the... Straight, straight stick and you can see this is curved so if you put this on like this you could just straighten it up on like this and then I just add this piece because I didn't know what to do with it guys leave a comment down below what you think I could use this for this I'll just put it on the flag now. Okay. And next one is where the people sit here. But I haven't added the chairs right now. So I'll just add an after or something. I'll just put the person. And you can look, this is a higher ground up here. You can see it isn't bigger or higher than this side or this. This one. This one and this one. Okay, next to your propeller. I tried to use another sort of propeller, but I couldn't find any sort that could do that. So I just did one like that that could actually spin. But I found out but that I made it too big that I had to make speed that get up and then get up from there and I had to get down again. Now I'll just do a little sort of this ship from the stern, what you call the back of the ship, to the front, the bow. Okay, now I'll teach you what is on mostly on a ship. Okay, everybody knows the front of a ship is called a bow, but not most people. Most people call it the front of the ship, but normally we say bow of the ship. And the end of the ship will be called the stern. 
I've seen before. And then this, every ship will definitely have is a vintage. But my one is just old fashioned from a long time ago. So it's different. And you may not see, and I may not see, but inside every ship will have compartments. And the Titanic will have 16, but I don't know how much this will have, because I haven't bought any compartments. Okay, and to the next one. The most important part is the lifeboats. You can see, I, I put four lifeboats just because of ship sinking. I know I wouldn't put this in real water, but just for fun, I just do this. And I actually use real string to do this. Next is the middle of the ship. Some ships do have these circle thingies, portholes, that's what they call the circle thingies. And the name is called portholes. I already said before, but most people just call them portholes. And most people call them circle holes. And normally on the Titanic, the cafe is normally inside this part. But most ships should be on the top of the ship now because it's a cruise ship normally. And now for the last maybe the last but every ship has a prison i just didn't know where the prison i should put it but i know where you actually should put it you actually should put it and it's supposed to be located at the bow of the ship now back to and now all the controls center normally w will be at all the top, like the village, like that place, but I just put it anywhere I want it to be. And last one, every ship will have a flag, but not every ship has a flag at the end of the ship. And every ship, not every cruise ship, Normally we'll have the propeller here, and just it's like it's, it's like you see the propeller. It's like facing this part with the dots here. It should be facing the other way for crucial. But a long time ago, I tried to make this the Titanic, but I had no idea how to make too much lifeboats and all the funnels, so I just did a random here. So, thanks for watching and please subscribe to Leah's Creativity channel. Please tell me what is your best ship that you've ever seen in your whole entire life. Maybe not in pictures, but it can be anywhere you want it. So, bye. I hope you like this video and... I hope you stay happy and do your favorite things and bye.